Hey, hello guys so today I am going to show you my favorite amazing tips and techniques about the Excel so the first trick is first you have to go to the Play Store and install Office uh, you can take a picture from Android and Apple and uh, after that you can use that image in Excel so once you install it you will open this excel and go to actions down on the right hand side and here text to table image uh, and after that you will take the image for your excel once you will take the picture for your excel sheet any of the excel sheet then you will see suppose this one I take the picture and once I take the picture then this picture I can use in Microsoft Excel in my computer or in my mobile just you will click on continue and then you can use it so the second trick second technique uh, it's really amazing and uh, you can use Microsoft Excel or Word and PowerPoint free online yes so what you have to do uh, the first you will open office.com www.office.com and once you click on uh, office.com here you have to give your ID and the password but the Microsoft ID and the password like outlook.com or hotmail.com so so here you can see now I uh, open the website office.com and here you will sign in with your Microsoft account okay uh, if you don't have Microsoft account don't worry you can sign up it's free and uh, if you have account you will click on sign in and here you are going to write your email address like I write my email address here Microsoft email address okay Outlook or Hotmail and after that once you will click it um, you will find this screen and on the left hand side you can see now there is Microsoft Excel word and powerpoint also so you can use it suppose i click on microsoft excel now and i click new blank workbook once i click on this uh, then you will find the same screen what you find usually on your excel when you are working on your computer this is your excel screen and here you will find the tools uh, what usually you use it number three you can get uh, ideas from Microsoft Excel yes uh, suppose I have this uh, small table here just I will click on home and the last one analyze data so the Excel will analyze your data it will give you the ideas how you can make it suppose you click right on analyze and here you can see now it's giving you the to whole chart if I click here just and I click on analyze so you can see now it's giving me the chart like the pie chart if you want or you have this, this chart like uh, who has uh, good marks or who has low marks here and uh, also you can ask the questions about your database but uh, remember all the words what you are using here it will it should be here like I am asking uh, who, who has low marks in math so you can see now the math is here and uh, you can ask any question related from your database so this is really very amazing tip again suppose I put total here and I want to uh, take ideas from the Excel so I will go to home click on analyze and the Excel will give me 
the ideas like this graph bar if you want this in pi just you will write here pi or it will show you in the pie chart so now the next trick so guys in this trick you can define the names of the formulas yes usually what you do if you want you have to find out the profit so is equal to you use this minus this e2 minus d2 but it's not clear what is e2 minus d2 so you can define the names for this you will get the answer but the names are not defined what is e2 and d2 so what you have to do for this you will select this suppose revenue and define name here you will see revenue it will come automatically you click ok then you select this cost go there it's a cost ok now before you were using the alphabet but now you were using revenue minus the cost yes and enter so as you can see now this profit has been here so like this you can use all the cells or whatever database you have it you can use this defining name and you can define the names of the formulas so guys how you can use macros for the memory of excel you use macros like if these countries produce this uh, product now suppose I add one other country Australia and I copy this and I paste it here and after that I paste this but it takes too much time so and too many steps it takes so that's why I use macros and in macros whatever I am doing it will save and next time I will not copy and I will not do all these steps so instead of this now I add one more country Africa and this time I will record the macro to record the macro you will click on view and go there and macros so as you can see I am in Africa and I go to view and macros and I start record macros you can see now this is uh, uh, before I give you the tips it's related from this and you can read this also so just I am going to record this macro so next time I will use this recorded macros I click on record macros you can type any name here suppose items you can see you can use the shortcut keys also and where you want to store this I am storing this in workbook you can store in different location and I will click OK so once I click OK so this name I enter and I will go to macros record macros okay here you can write uh, anything like uh, produce you can see the shortcut also you can use this one and where you want to save it I am going to save in this workbook you can save in another place if you want it I press ok now our macros is recording so what I will do I will copy this Africa three times and I will take this items also three times so now I have finished my recording I will go there in macros and stop recording basically it uh, record all my steps so now I am going to give one another country suppose Spain and now I am not copying all these things just I am going to my macros and view macros and the uh, view macros I did this produce I will run 
So as you can see now here in Spain, it's automatically generated this. Okay, you should be here in the first one what you where you are. So it will come all the steps automatically one what you recorded. So guys, now you will see something very interesting and amazing how we can use data types in microsoft excel we have many data types and in future many more data types are coming now suppose i have these four countries and i need geography the population so what will i do i will select these countries I will go to data and here you will find many of it suppose now I need geography so I will click on it and then you will see this is the sign now this sign means now you can select one of it and here in the population you can see all of geographical things like the populations tax revenue and currency everything you can see in Pakistan like this and for India you can see everything all the fields in India like in Saudi Arabia also the same thing so so suppose I choose Pakistan now I see the population of the Pakistan now I go down and the population is this now I need the GDP of Pakistan so I will see here I will click on GDP and you can see now this one like this the largest city of Pakistan I will see here the largest cities of Pakistan and This is the largest city, Karachi. Like this, in India, you want to see, so you will do the same population first, suppose this, and after that, you can see the GDP of uh, India. So, you can see the GDP. You can see the largest city, this one. So, this is really amazing not only this you have too many things if you want food or locations medical people plants whatever you want so guys to tell today i will stop and in next lesson i will give you some another amazing tips and techniques so if you are new in my channel so please subscribe and ring the bell icon so you can get the notification and you can get many more things so i hope you learned some new things and if you want to ask any question you can ask me in the comment box take care bye